Reject Twinkies, embrace cardio is the hate comment from yesterday. Guys, what the heck is going on? I love the comments, so write them down below if you want to be featured in my next video. Maybe eat some Twinkies today. Apparently this guy thinks I eat too many Twinkies, but whatever. <gasps> I'm just gonna start off like this. We are going Rambo style here, guys. We are just going. But anyways, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Welcome back to the Naked Man Podcast, guys, where we learn, grow, and help one another achieve our wildest dreams. Woohoo! Top heavy there, baby. Guys, cheers, and thanks for tuning in. Guys, it's a new year, and it should be a new you in this year. Man, I've been talking to so many people lately, since like the last couple days, really, on how many people are hung up on it, <laughs> that they're already too tired to set up their goals and achieve them this year. They're already saying, John, I'm too tired, or I have so much things to do in this life, or I'm exhausted, or I don't have the time to better my life. What are you guys doing here then? What are you doing here if we're not moving forward in life? Isn't this the point of life though? Is to better yourself and go beyond your limits mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. I know, it's going crazy, we're all over the place, but like I always say, Stay with me because there's always a point to my videos here. Stick and stay, it's bound to pay, baby. So come on, let's go. I wanna ask you guys, are you for reals in this year? 2024 is upon us. What are you doing about it? And I wanna ask you this, be honest with yourself. How many times have you said, I'm tired, and used it as an excuse to skip out on bettering your life for yourself? If you were really honest, it's probably way more times than you actually would like to admit. Huh, it beats me, man, it beats me. Now, how does that make you feel? That's the next question. How does that make you feel when you don't do what you know you need to do? It should make you feel like a piece of shit. That's just my opinion. You should be constantly ever evolving in your life. Because guess what? It's not just you letting yourself down. It's your family, it's your friends, it's your community, it's your employees, it's all the people that count on you to be the best version of yourself. You need to start taking ownership and responsibility over your life because you were called to do so much more than just average. That's why you guys are watching this video still if you are watching. And if you are, make sure to like it because we're not going anywhere, baby. But if you're somebody who really wants to level up your life, your competition already is at the door. It is, and it's not stopping for you or anyone else. Mark Cuban says it best, I love it. I can't, I'm gonna probably butcher his quote, so put it down in the comments on what his actual quote is. But like he says, my competition basically is working 24-7, 365, so why aren't I? Or something like that, I don't know. But my point is, I agree with him 100%. Your competition is at the door knocking, hello! They're waiting for you guys. And you're gonna be taken out if you don't take action. So here's the reality. We're all tired. We're all exhausted. But the difference is some of us choose to grind it out while everyone else packs up at the end of the day and goes home, or they take off every single weekend, or they take an extra vacation that they don't need each year or several. So here's my thought for everyone out there listening still. Even if you work your full-time job that's 40 hours a week, which isn't really working in my opinion here, <laughs> but guys, come on now. Those are just rookie numbers. That's what the average do. You guys can't just do the base level in life. You have to take the necessary actions and execute on those actions every single day that they compound through time on getting to your goals. And if you do want to opt out and say, John, I want my weekends. Well, guess what? There's 104 days in a year that you could take a side hustle, side business, or whatever, and use those weekends, 104 days a year, on building something for yourself that probably can ultimately get you out of your job. I'm going to use myself for an example. Six years ago, I had to get a job. 
If you don't know my story, go back in my previous videos, guys. I, I was homeless. I lost everything. I had two businesses, marriage and all that stuff. I lost everything. But I had to come back to the ground level and I had to get another job. And guess what? I worked nights and then I built another business during the day. And I did that for two hard fucking years, man. And guess what? My average hours were probably around 100 hours a week is what I was pulling in. I would work nights at a factory and I would build my business during the day and I had no days off for two years and guess what happened? I quit my job at two years. Now, that's what you have to do in order if you want to make something happen for yourself. You're gonna have to sacrifice. Success does not come without sacrifice. And the thing with this, if now I'm going into the entrepreneur story, I know I'm rambling here, by, but guys, 100K is not the goal. I crossed 100K like that. It wasn't a lot of money for me to even quit my job, actually. And then I said, if I can make 100K, I can make 500K. And then when I made 500K, I said I can make a million. Guys, do not go into business for yourself. I always say this too, do not go into business for yourself, go into business for a need in your community and give back to the community as you grow. But money is your lifeline. You have to have the cash flow, you have to make lots of money in order to make a difference in this world. It is not greedy to make more money, it is selfless to make more money. You are helping so many people within your corporation, giving them jobs, security, money to help their families, and then you're taking extra money and you're giving tens and tens of thousands of dollars away every single year. That's what my wife and I do. You could be so much more than just the norm even in the business realm, is my point of this rant. But that's a different story for a different day. Write in the comments if you want me to talk more about this topic because I have loads of information on this. So I wanna end it with this, guys. Ask yourself this question. Are you really going to settle for a life that's far less than it could be just because you're too tired, just because you don't have enough time, just because you're exhausted? I didn't think so because that's why you're probably still watching. Instead of taking your foot off the gas every time you get tired, train yourself to completely drain your tank. Then push for more. If you learn to do this, you will have no problem getting from where you are right now to where you want to be in this life. You have to go to the extremes to even get to the extremes. It's not pleasant and it's not for everyone, but it is necessary if you want to have something big and shiny for yourself. It's not gonna be handed to you. No one's coming to save you. No one's gonna give it to you. You have to go out and grab it and build it and make it and mold it and ultimately be a servant to your community. Because at the end of the day, what's it really for? Buying another Lambo isn't gonna fulfill you. Buying all that stuff isn't gonna fulfill you. I've done it, I lived it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. What really matters is experience and memories. So why don't you have some awesome fucking experiences? Maybe that is with stuff, no judgment. I've already did it, it's not for me. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna go buy out a Lambo or have motorcycles or all that stuff either. It's fun. But try to do something bigger than just yourself is my point of this mini rant. I've had several rants, God damn it, through this video. I'm off topic this <laughs> today, but not really, well, whatever. I'm just rambling. I'm a rambling man with a mic and a beer. So guys, cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to like the video because it helps the algorithm out. Guys, thanks again and see you tomorrow.